Frank, the arbitrator of truth. I'm uh, now electing myself that because uh, it has been that my uh, opinion that it seems like nobody is the arbitrator of truth. They're, they're, truth is something that I guess I used to think was real when I was a youngster. And in certain points along the way, I've thought that it was real. But um, now the truth is just a, a general concept like justice. Truth, justice, and the American way. And, and you know... Superman died from kryptonite, I think. You know, it, 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 there, there's a few things I wanted to know about Superman anyway, but some of those are probably too pornographic to think about. Like when he's making love to Lois Lane, you know? How come he didn't blow her head off? But uh, it, never mind. That, that probably ruined the entire video right there. But the truth is that there is no Superman. There actually is no Krypton, and there is no Superman. And this whole thing is a myth. And so is America, for that matter. And truth and justice. Truth, justice, and the American way perhaps are concepts that are debatable and they're only concepts. Let, let, I'll get the truth in a minute. Justice. You know, what is justice, really? And there, there seems to be a lot of people, and I'm sure many, who believe that uh, there's some sort of a justice that is absolute out in the sky. You know, like if we all get together and we're of good mind and decent ideas and we, we, we get our best selves out, then we would uh, come to the same conclusions about what is just and what is not. And that's probably not true. There, there's two ways to define justice. The one way is, of course, what I was just talking about. What is fair? What is, if everybody got together and was being even-minded and open-minded, we would all come to the same conclusions about what is just. And that's one definition. It's, a, it's sort of a, kind of like an absolute uh, entity that l exists in, in uh, you know, the spiritual realm. But there's another way of defining justice, which I, I think uh, when I got older I realized, and that is justice is what the courts and the powers that be decide it is. So that it, I spoke about this before, I think in one of my videos, if you are a peasant and you're growing your wheat and spending a lot of time working hard to get the good wheat crop and you're getting into August, it's almost time to harvest. And then the prince, the king's son, goes riding through your wheat field, mowing down your wheat and trampling it all down, chasing a, a virgin, and then he rapes your daughter. And you run out there and you say, I want justice. So they call you off to the king and you complain, he, knocked, he did all this stuff to me, he ruined my life. How am I gonna get there to winter? And he ruined my daughter. And the king looks at him and says, off with his head. And that's justice. Because the king has the power to do whatever just justice he chooses. And that's, I think, a realistic version of justice. You know, you could think that there's some sort of a justice in the spiritual realm that is higher than humanity and all that. But there isn't. Justice has two definitions. That's one sense of justice, that it, there should be justice that exists and then there's another sense that justice is what it is now let's talk about the american way you know i've been hearing a lot of people complaining about the american way lately you know if, if you're a black person especially you say that oh you know this country was founded by slaves and slaves who work for nothing and they were able to uh, you know they were able to grow cotton and, and tobacco and and build up a giant fortunes for themselves by using forced labor or labor by people that they transported from Africa and it's just not just and and, and in America it's founded you know by the founding fathers by saying all men are created equal that 
we were endowed by our Creator but with certain inalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I guess there's a lot of complaining that that never really existed early on in the United States. But you know, I, I was, uh, this is something that you gotta call a work in progress. The concept that people have a voice in the government at all was kind of new at that point, and we've expanded what we consider to be people over many years, including as a result of a, a war. And now the United States, you know, we're trying to give everyone equal rights, regardless of their sex, their color, their religion, or their previous servitude, you know, I mean, the 14th Amendment and all that. And, the, and we all have these rights that are guaranteed by the, uh, by the Constitution, and applying those rights equally has been a work in progress. Now, get me straight here, I mean, it's not perfect, you know, don't let the good be the enemy of the perfect here. We're working when the United States, the American way, has been to work in that direction. Now there's a, bla a backlash against it, uh, coming from the white supremacists and everything. You know, there. One of the problems is that in politics, you know, you can't debate something without, uh, you know, having somebody throw something in your face. In other words, uh, if you're um, trying to get something done in in the Congress. And you've in your past ever said anything that might be questioned, they'll immediately throw that in your face. See, so it, it's gotten to the point, and now we're getting to truth. What is truth? You know, truth isn't just everything you've ever said. Truth is kind of hard to um, pin down, and 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 I, I happen to be someone who's a, of scientific mind. I believe that truth isn't anything except there is some things that can be tested scientifically which means that you make a hypothesis and then you run an experiment to test the hypothesis and if you can come up with a some kind of a, a conclusion based upon your test upon your upon your experiment then you can analyze your results and see what actually works in other words we, we could talk about the truth about this COVID-19 thing. There's people, many people out there who believe that COVID-19 is not a real thing. It's a, it's a hoax, they, Donald Trump says. And uh, there's a lot of people who believe that wearing masks is some kind of a, a plot to hide our faces. And there's a lot of people who believe that these vaccines contain tiny little chips that are going to control your mind. You know, Bill Gates is going to get control of your mind somehow. I mean, there's all kinds of things that, I guess, if you believe it, it's the truth, right? But it doesn't stand up to experimentation. It doesn't stand up. You know, we need to look at the f objective facts as, as we, you know, we do empirically observe and see what things actually work and what things don't. If you don't think that it's real, then maybe you should go to the hospital and, and, and see if you can go into the the ward where they keep these people and, and see if there's actually people dying. Talk to the doctors and the nurses. Because I have. I've talked to some of the nurses who are working in those units. Yeah, people are dying from it. They, they know it. They see it. But if you don't see it and you don't know it, maybe you don't believe it. If it doesn't happen to somebody really close to you, maybe you don't believe it. You know, but that just because you think something is true, that doesn't make it true. You know? I, I guess. I mean, it's true. I mean, there's two ways of looking at truth, right? There's what you believe is true, which is your own reality. And in your own reality, whatever you decide is true or believe is true is true. And then there's the shared reality, which is based upon empirical observation. And that reality is something that you have to negotiate with other people. Uh, so you don't believe that the COVID-19 thing is real or you believe that Donald Trump won by a landslide, or, or you believe that, uh, that Hillary Clinton is a lizard person, that's, you believe that there's a, a secret cabal, or that 
or that the white race is superior, all the things you believe, let's put them up to analysis. Let's share the analysis with each other and we can have like a, a general truth that we believe in. You know, but there's two kinds of truths. There's a general truth that people believe in, which is based upon, I hope, empirical evidence. And then there's the internal truth that you believe. You could believe that, you know, the Zoroaster is the god, and uh, or that um, thus spake Zarathustra, you know, and you believe all that. Or you can believe in heaven and hell. You can believe in, in Mount Olympus. If you believe it, it's true, right? Isn't that what, what? There's two ways of looking at justice. There's two ways of looking at truth. You know, it's it's come to the point now in the United States, anyway, where with all these people putting what they believe to be true on their on their websites and their internets, uh, social media, that what you believe is true gets out there as the general truth without empirical observation, you know, and, and that's where we're at right now. We, I guess we're uh, going to have to muddle our way through this some way. I hope it doesn't end up uh, being a, a violent war of some sort where people want to believe things versus th people who want to prove, uh, get into some kind of a, a conflict. Thank you.